welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Southampton. Welcome to the Thrift Shop Vintage Golf Challenge. If you haven't watched part one, go watch it right now or open up a new tab and then watch it and then come back and watch this. Kelly is with me because, I mean, she helped me find all of these golf clubs. So I'm gonna go play nine. This is our setup. We have a tailor-made burner bubble driver from 1995. It has a regular shaft. We have a tour spoon and a tour clique, 13 degrees, 16 degrees from like 1981, I believe. And then we have irons from 1982, the EL1s. We have two, three, four, five, eight, seven, eight, that's it. And then the nine, six, and pitching wedge. Kelly's dad actually has an old set of blades from 1987. So those, are the, the those are the blades we're using to fill out the set. And then this is the sand wedge we found. It's from the very first set of TaylorMade clubs. It is a ladies one, but whatever. And then here's the putter we have, the TPA model XIV from 1985. Oh, this nice little bag and this there, is a you know? this is a goodwill bag for six bucks and I bet you, you could get bags comparable to this for like $150, $200 now but it's a classic. I think we overpaid for the irons to be honest because every other club was like two bucks. This whole thing costs $38. I have not hit a single shot with these clubs yet so I don't know what to expect. This regular shaft is a little whippy but <laughs> so I got a buck 65. These irons, I don't know the flex of the shaft, but they're pretty small. They look nice for 165. I think that is so short. Oh my god. <laughs> that went nowhere. Holy crap, this thing is so upright. That's how upright it is. Like, I want to put my hand normally here. It's like. Oh, close. Oh. Bogey on the first. I'm going to give the uh, 13 degree tour spoon a try because I think it has a stiffer shaft in it. Let's keep this thing in play. We got we to gotta make up for that bogey on the first. Now that we've played one hole and we made a bogey, the technology kind of let me down. I got to club up a bit. And, uh, let us know in the comments what you think I'm going to shoot for these nine holes. I really hope I can keep it around par, but let me know what you think down below. What do you think, babe? Uh, I'm going to say two over. Oh, Sorry. Ye, ye of little faith. Okay, okay. It's more of a challenge. 157. Man, these clubs are short. Holy cow. It feels like a sandwich, but it's an eight iron. Sounded good. Oh, birdie oh, time. Whoa. <laughs> See, I challenged you. <laughs> I can't believe I just made a birdie with those gloves. That's awesome. Good job, babe. For a little bit of context, this is the iron from 1982. This is the 1987 iron. They're about the same length. This is a five iron, this is a six iron. So these uh, clubs from 82 are very short. Oh, that could be really close. If you get an ace with these old ass clubs. With your dad's six iron. <laughs> Wasn't as close as he thought it was. Looks pretty nice. Sorry. Oh, good job. This putter, I'm on fire with it. <laughs> All right. It's not gonna go very far. 111. I don't know if I can hit this sandwich this far. Just a bit outside. There we go. Two hundred. 
Probably 195, 200, yeah. This tiny little knife of a four iron. It's basically about avoiding disaster with these clubs because you don't really know what they're gonna do, especially with that driver. So I'm just like trying to smooth it out there and I think I've got a grip of the irons. They're, they're since they're a club shorter in length, and then I'm just playing them like one more. So a four iron is actually a five iron. But now we have basically driver coming on in. So there, I caught one solid. Good job. Finally. What did you just say? I said, damn, I got some stank on that. This thing's only like 10 yards behind my driver. I can go for the Figuring screen. Figuring it out. Yeah, you can go for the screen in two. I have 252 the flight. This hole is like 550 yards. Tees rough a bit, so still hit that thing like 285, 290. But when you miss hit it, holy crap, it goes nowhere. Going to her spoon, 13 degrees. Let's see this. This tiny little guy. Oh. So I caught some divot and it felt like I chunked it, but I mean, it went to 240. Whoops. That did not do what I thought it would do. <laughs> You're looking like me. Well, no, like I, I got underneath it perfectly, but it just went like this way. <laughs> there we go. That is a bad par. 204. A little downwind. I think I'll go with the four iron. Yeah. Okay. This thing just like hooks. It's just like left of the green. Nice. <laughs> okay. I thought I smashed it and it just went straight up into the right. 202 to the to the flag, wearing out this four iron. Usually this is if I hit driver, this is usually about a at most an eight iron into this hole. It was so good. It was like a low bullet runner. Wow. I had to hit it like a three wood basically. So this is the 13 degree three wood that I'm gonna hit on nine here. We got 260 of the flag, but look at the size of it. It's just just a little bit bigger than the ball. Little baby. It's crazy. 60 to 70 percent of the viewers probably were none of them were born when any of this came out. <laughs> Even this one, 1995, no chance. I did a poll on Instagram. I think it was like 65% of my Instagram followers were not alive in 1995. 260 yards, we can barely see because Mr. and Mrs. Habakamp were taking their sweet time up there. Let's, uh, wah, wah. let's go. I think it's left. Not in a very good spot. Kind of short-sided. Maybe the, blue. Over the bunker, come on. Blue. 100. Do do? Baby blue, get it. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Woo! Okay, we got like six feet for birdie. See? Yay, baby! <laughs> I can't believe I broke par with these clubs. Come on. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you enjoyed this kind of two-part series with Kelly and I hunting down these golf clubs. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your friends. Um, and uh, let me know down below what's the oldest golf club you've played with. Um, and if you want to see any more stuff 
with these old clubs. Definitely gonna do some like head-to-head -head comparisons with the two irons, the three woods, the drivers, and all that. So stay tuned for that. Anything you wanna say? Good job. Oh, okay, see you later, peace.